What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Got a garden tour. Yeah, welcome back to the garden. This is driving me nuts. I'm gonna just pick it. <laughs> There's a lot actually, a lot more. Than yeah, I I, for plants that just haven't been doing great, we are getting a lot of cucumbers still. Uh -huh. So lots of pickles going on the shelf, which is awesome. Yeah, it's been really nice. And the garden's kind of coming down to the end. It's fall, I feel like, but at the same time, it's producing so much still. I was gonna say, this is when our garden, yes, it looks like it's all dying back and everything's yeah. like coming down, but all the produce is coming in. So it's so exciting. So we're gonna do some picking while we're out here, right? Yeah. So as I'm over here, I'm picking dill because it looks like we'll be making pickles tomorrow. Got a lot of cucumbers picked. I can hear so many bumblebees and if I look in these beans here, they're just fuzzy oh, bumblebees everywhere. So this is our second round of green beans in here and we haven't picked off of them yet, but they're just about ready. Like a matter of a day, a couple days and it looks like we'll be canning more green beans. These strawberries over here, we are still picking probably about a small berry basket a day, a pint or so of strawberries. Wow, look at this! Every single day. Now our broccoli has gone into overtime. We have massive heads the size of my palm coming up now through here. And then we have some shoots from the ones we picked earlier. But our cauliflower isn't doing anything. So it might just be here to feed the chickens. I think we'll have to start pulling it. I pulled one that was right here and Sarah never even noticed. But I was, every time I'd come around it in the morning, I'd get so wet from my belly rubbing on the tomatoes and my butt rubbing on these. So it's like, I'm pulling it. So I pulled it. I think we need to pull a couple more. <laughs> what is yucky? I noticed. <laughs> I too was having trouble getting around this corner. It got so crowded with plants. The sunflowers are doing good. I almost fell in a basket. You almost fell in the basket? A basket. Are you sweet like a cherry tomato? <laughs> You're laughing. Peppers are doing amazing. We have some that are turning red now. And we have, oh look at this, we have a bunch of them that are on the ground we have to pick. We don't want them to go bad and sit out here. We have a row of nana, nana pinos and we have a row of jalapenos. We were making salsa the other night and our friends were over. And it was kind of funny because I said, are you sure you didn't pick the wrong one, Sarah? And she goes, no, they were from the right one. And I tried it and it was a, skinny chunk of one and I go nope it's not hot should we go down there and pick some and it was dark by then and they're like yeah right you're just messing with this I said no 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 it's not hot it's not hot so then I ate some more and I almost got done with that whole stick and finally he, my buddy goes oh, 
Let me try it. I know he's messing with me, but I'll try it. And he tried it and he spit it out so fast and his mouth was all on fire. <laughs> but we got peppers coming in like crazy. So this is kind of cool to see. A lot of these are turning red already. I think we'll have to... What um, are these? I thought those are pepperoncini, but I don't remember them being red. So now I'm wondering, did I plant cayenne or... I planted a Tabasco plant, but I don't think Tabasco looks like that. I gotta just check. Anyways, I think we should tie them up next year, some of these. Yeah. I'm surprised how heavy they're getting. Yeah, DCBs, um, he commented on one of our videos and he said he likes to use those cone um, tomato trellises that you can get from the store. And that wouldn't be a bad idea for these pepper plants. Normally, we don't have that issue. They're normally about this tall. <laughs> But they've been doing a lot better this last couple of years. This this side of the garden took a while for it to get get going. I stopped that one. Oh, you got another one to feed to the chickens? Look at I got some peppers. Oh, a lot of peppers. Yeah. You going grass back there, Matt? Yeah. There's a little bit of grass growing back there. For a new adventure. So our beans here, this is gonna, going to be like our third run here in this area. These don't have beans or much for flowers on them yet, but we can tell they're coming. Now a lot of these seeds are what we saved and we're hoping we can save seed from here again. But I have to show you some of these plants, they're tall and spindly and I only planted bush bean varieties. So I'm wondering, maybe I didn't do a great job saving seed. <laughs> what are those? So I probably won't save seed off of those plants, but I'm sure they'll still produce beans. Our celery over here is doing really well. We have, it's very short. Um, we did look at some ideas for trying to kind of keep I it together. A big thing. So it will grow up and grow tall, um, but we just kind of decided to leave it. It's spaced apart. And before the season end, we'll come through and cut all this. Probably just chop it up and freeze it all, leaves and all. We picked all that to, all that stuff, and tomorrow there's gonna be at least another basket full. And every time we fill a basket, it's 10 pounds. Ah, such a good time of year, so fun. I'm picking a whole bunch of onions. If I'm bringing some in, I might as well bring any that are uh, already have the tops gone. Our leeks here, aren't they beautiful? We picked the first couple and we just sauteed them up made kind of some hot dish and it was our first time having leeks so I would say they had a very mild my basket. oh do you want to carry it Where's my basket? I dumped yours in the wagon or in the wheelbarrow you want to go pee why because it was just full pee. you got to pee okay <laughs> we haven't harvested our potatoes yet so I was hoping to make some potato leek soup I think that's pretty much the most traditional way to use leeks so I will probably have to pick up some potatoes this week so we can try that because I think we've got another week or two on our potatoes. At least we don't need to worry about picking them yet. I was thinking of just chopping up these leeks and freezing them. I did read that they make, um, that they're really good dehydrated. So if I have time, maybe I'll do that. But for now, they're happy, healthy in the ground. We're gonna leave them. Now, we have an issue. Do you see all this dirt coming out by the rocks here? These are all coming out and it's because of voles. I have been trying to trap them, I've been doing my best, and I've had it. I'm resorting to poison. I'm not dealing with this no more. They are relentless. They are terrible. They are uprooting the flowers. They are on or down there, they pulled a bunch of flowers out. All the soil is running out through the rocks now. They've made so many holes. I just can't stand it no more. So I'm gonna get that Tomcat. I have some of them boxes around from I used them about uh, six, seven years ago, and I'm gonna go to Fleet Farm and get some of those poisons to fill them back up because this is unreal. This is terrible, and that, and if they're this close to the greenhouse, I don't want this winter them to take over the greenhouse, like that happened two years ago. That was terrible. So, unless you know how to take care of them without using poison, put it in the comments down below because I'd rather do it that way than use poison. But this is unreal. They are taking over is doing really well those carrots that we're doing well are continuing to grow in fact they're growing quite fast we do have those open spots where carrots didn't come up some died off and I don't know maybe we'll just plant earlier this spring in there but the other half of the greenhouse we finally 
got greens planted. All I planted basically the whole way down. We've got a spot about this big that we left for putting a pepper plant in for the winter and the whole rest of that, that whole bed, baby spinach. It's the fastest green that we can get that we enjoy. So hopefully lots of baby spinach will be coming up this winter. We did plant really late. We're well aware it's just something we didn't get around to. So fingers crossed, hoping some grows in there. The tomatoes doing well. Those, um, what's the variety again? Giant crimson, giant crimson are small. You would just think by the name that they're a pretty big tomato and ours are all small. So we don't know if that's a fertilizer issue or what, um, but I think we'll definitely grow them again next year. They're really pretty. There is a nice breeze right here. <laughs> it, is, it feels good. But it's going to be hot today. The next couple of days is going to be 90 on Wednesday, they're saying, or Thursday. So Not that's fall hot yet. <laughs> no, but then after that, it's supposed to rain and then cool down into the 70s. So we'll take that. I like that 70s weather. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you. We don't thank them enough. No. Thank you. We thank really you. appreciate it. We yeah. are so... And all the comments and everything. It's very nice. Yeah, we're really humbled by just that you guys let us be a part of your day. Yeah. Love it. So glad you got to see me again. And me. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>